Good morning. Uh, I wonder how long this will last. I'm trying to load uh, more more data on this machine than uh, possible. Let's give it a try. Welcome to the uh, Good Life Meditation for uh, October 5th, 2000. It's October? What well, is October? October 5th, 2016. Wow, yeah, my daughter's doing so much this October. Homecoming, Jersey Jam, uh, football games, uh, a not scary farm just so many things so exciting to see her really engaged in the, the American teen culture and life really just taking it on so anyway um, this uh, activity is where I uh, uh, express my and reaffirm my uh, my personal philosophy called the good life the um, and also do a little bit of a forecast about the day to come and prepare myself mentally for uh, the challenges that will certainly arise Let's see, so there are um, uh, three components to uh, the good life meditation. First is an affirmation of, uh, of, uh, of, of a, a desire and a will to make sure that uh, in pursuing the, the interest of the, of, of, of the group that I do not trample upon the rights of the individual. Um, so I leverage the uh, United States Constitution and the Bill of Rights in, uh, in identifying what those rights are. Um, it's greatly important to me to, uh, to perform social good, but also to ensure uh, individual well-being. Social and individual well-being in their, in their respective uh, uh, swim lanes. <laughs> I, love, I don't know why I turned, chose that term. I heard it last night in the debate, in the Pence uh, and um, uh, Kane debate for vice president. Good debate. Really liked it. Really, those, maybe those two guys should be the uh, presidential nominees instead of Clinton and uh, Trump. Really liked it. Uh, Tim Kaine, wow, what a guy. Pence is impressive too. Both of them. Anyway, um, so the second part is the uh, is the um, objectives. Three objectives. One, the objective to uh, develop and maintain good, sound life principles. Two, the uh, objective of uh, of uh, you, of good em emotional reactions to the to the circumstances of life when challenges occur that I can respond in, in a uh, in a um, in a reasoned controlled manner measured using uh, temperance to moderate my response and uh, one way to do that is to also uh, avoid uh, impairing my brain so that I keep good brain function. <laughs> Keyword: Don't drink too much. I don't drink much anyway, but uh, I may have lost uh, a, a, lot, a great deal of interest in drinking this week after uh, just a momentary lapse of, uh, of self-control in terms of uh, not recognizing an opportunity to clarify communication between my wife and I earlier this week. Nothing big, just you know, a misunderstanding that so easily could have been avoided so easily if I'd been on my game mentally and uh, on the alert for. Uh, uh, misunderstanding. Third, uh, the, and then the third part is the uh, performance of good actions. Just when we when we understand what that that well-being, that virtue, is an objective measure of the world. If we if we are in agreement that that well-being is defined uh, that that virtue is def is defined as as well-being uh, of anything, you know, improving its well-being, improving its ha health, happiness, and longevity. Then we can do things. We can we, we can we can identify things that uh, that, uh, that uh, improve that. And then, we, then then doing those things is the performance of good actions. Now we have uh, seven principles along the good life in the good life. First is the atomic principle. Everything is made of bits and pieces, of flowing, changing, transforming. Everything in the universe, all matter, is. Formed of uh, there, there are things like you know objects that we can recognize rocks trees bricks people snakes dogs comets and planets and all the rest that are formed of uh, of smaller bits compounds molecules atoms subatomic particles quarks maybe strings ultimately uh, kind of a frozen form of energy it's all basically of an energy of a sort. Oh, pardon me. And when we when we keep that in our mind, we will expect these things to change, kind of like uh, um, 
you add uh, you add time into the mix and uh, uh, and the the, and the pursuit of entropy, <laughs> life, liberty, and the pursuit of entropy. <laughs> it just came to mind, and uh, you get this transformative process. Keeping that in your mind, uh, in my mind, uh, helps me to. Uh, not be surprised by change and to anticipate it and uh, puts a bit of an imperative on my uh, uh, effort of living. Two, second uh, principle, the uh, principle of nature. These things, uh, aforementioned things that are composed of all these bits and pieces have a particular nature depending on the way that they're put together. So uh, just as a table leg or a, or a, uh, or a rabbit, a rabbit's ear, or a, 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 or, or a sun, or a, a, an individual of any, I mean, of an organism, the way it's composed, what it has, gives it gives it qualities and characteristics that are are its nature. Likewise, you and me, we have a particular nature too, and that develops over time. With, with we have our bodies have a particular nature, but also our minds and our attitudes and disposition, and that part develops over time as we mature. Likewise, the body changes too; its nature changes. I'm not as robust as I was in my 30s, and. Uh, not as uh, in, up here, not as immature as I was in my 20s. Yeah, maybe sometimes. Uh, and we live better when we recognize what the nature of other things is and what our own nature is. Three. Social, social good. Uh, social good is the most uh, is the most pure and most refined form of good. It's the 24 karat gold of uh, of alloys. You know. Pursuing our own best interest is a good thing too, but when we do this, when we do things for the greater good, we really get a lot out of that. You can feel it too, especially as you as you get older and you really begin to appreciate that. It feels good to do good for many. It's a concentrated good. Four, temperance. Temperance is the uh, deliberate, uh, um, uh, uh, the deliberate um, measured consumption of resources. Food, drink, work, play, or activities. Uh, wine, women, song, all those things. <laughs> Doing them in excess that gives, a, gives some pleasure, but it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ephemeral thing that just uh, kind of, it's like burning a match. It just burns away and all the elements go away and you're left with, you get some burning, maybe some warmth in the meantime, but there's nothing really left at the end. But uh, when, we, when we control ourselves, when we sit still, and consume less, we gain two things. We preserve resources and we develop